This is Mel coming at you again with another video. This will be a cooking in the kitchen. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. And so I figured, why not do one now? This video actually was inspired by this right here. This crock pot. I've had a small one for a long time, but I decided I want to upgrade. And what better time once you upgrade than to try out some new recipes. So I decided I was going to make a pot roast tonight. So if you're interested, continue watching. And maybe, you never know, you may decide pot roast looks good. You want to try it too. Stay tuned. Okay. okay, this is the new crock pot that I got that inspired me to try this meal. And you can see right here in the back, this is my rice cooker. So this is what I'll be using to steam my rice as well. Okay, here are the vegetables that are going to go in this pot roast. We have about seven red skin potatoes that I will dice these up. I probably will half these carrots just so they'll be a little bit smaller. A little bit. That's probably about a stalk of celery. And then we have this white onion. And also in the crock pot I'm going to put one cup of water. I have this seasoning pack the baby put in it, but I also decided I wanted to use this since I saw this at Target, this Campbell's slow cooker sauces. And it's made specifically for the pot roast, so I want to see how that's going to turn out. And I generally don't eat a lot of red meat, so this should be interesting. I haven't had pot roast in forever, so hopefully this turns out really well. So let's get started on the chopping. Okay, now all of the ingredients have been chopped to the size that I'm wanting to be. So let's continue on to the crock pot now. Okay, as you can see the pot roast is inside, pull it back a little bit, it's inside of the slow cooker pot. Luckily this part is detachable, I'm going to put that on the inside the cooker in just one moment. I'm going to sprinkle a little of that seasoning pack. Get a paper towel. I'm going to sprinkle a little of the seasoning pack on top of the meat. Probably going to do about half of it first because I'm going to put the vegetables in and then I'm going to sprinkle the rest of this on top of the vegetables. I could do a little bit more. To make sure the meat is well seasoned. And this was left over, I'm gonna put on top of the vegetables. And even though I'm going to add that slow cooker sauce, which said that you don't need water, I want to I still want to add some water since I add this seasoning pack to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this water on top. And the only thing they'll do uh, with having extra water, it should help make a roux. So once I have my gravy. I mean, my rice going, I have a little gravy to go on top. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the vegetables to it. Okay, I'm going to add the onions in. Add the carrots. 
trying to spread them out some so it'll be all over the pot roast. And then we're going to add the potatoes. Again, like I said, I'm going to sprinkle the rest of this seasoning on top of the vegetables. So it should be a good coating on the meat and the vegetables as well. But I'm also going to add this slow cooker sauce. And it looks like it's already have a gravy look to it. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried this, so hopefully it turns out well. I'm just going to mix it a little bit. Let a little of that seep down to the bottom part and mix in with the water and get a little more contact with uh, the meat. Okay, let's actually put this pan inside of the slow cooker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set the timer on to high. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on, close it up, and we're going to let it work its magic. We'll see you shortly. Okay, beautiful people, the pot roast is done. So we're going to get a quick look to see how it is. And I'm probably going to try to plate a serving of it and insert a picture. But let's go ahead and take a look at the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to low. It's still on high. I'm going to turn it to low now. Actually, I'm going to turn it to warm. Let's get this lid off. Oh, just the smells that are coming from here. Oh my goodness. Let's see the sauce too. And it has like that, like I was saying before what I was trying to be able to have, it has that consistency of a jus. See, it's not like real thick or great. I guess if you wanted more of a thick consistency, you can add some cornstarch or flour. But this right here, this is perfect for me. Because I'm not normally a big gravy person. But oh my goodness, look at this. This looks amazing. Amaze balls. Everything looks cooked perfectly tender too. Let's see with the fork to go in. Yes, it just breaks away breaks away tender. This is awesome. Okay, now I'm going to plate some pot roast and insert a picture so you can see my final result. Well, that's the pot roast recipe for cooking in the kitchen. I hope that you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. It looks absolutely fantastic. Just pull apart just with a fork. So I'm looking forward to that. So until next time, bye.